Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day of Wood and Wisdom. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. You will need a pencil. You will need um, your direct vocabulary packet because you're going to be writing inside one of those, one of the papers inside there. I'll show you in a little bit. And I also posted a picture of it on next to the video on this post. Okay. So I'm going, I'm going to go over your assignment. I'm going to go over your end of module task. You will have today, tomorrow, and this weekend to work on your end of module task. So you are going to use handout 30B to write your end of module task. You did handout 30B last time on Tuesday. That was your exit ticket and you turned it in under assignments. You are going to use that evidence organizer that you filled in to write your end of module task. So make sure you have it with you. You are going to go ahead and choose a character like you already did on your, on your organizer over here, on your evidence organizer. Um, so you are going to choose between or, you already chose one, if you wanna change it, that's fine. But I suggest you use that chart because you already have all your thoughts written down. All you're gonna do is make it into a story. So, choosing a character, you chose between Cinderella, Cendrillon, Ella, Adelita, Pear Blossom, the rough face girl, and you chose a trait, right? Hardworking, honest, caring, nice, grateful, thankful, okay? Um, once you choose your character, you're going to tell me about that trait in your story. This is an example. If you chose Cinderella, you would say, Cinderella was kind. She helped her stepsisters get ready for the ball. So there you're giving me her trait, kind, and the reason. Helped her stepsisters get ready for the ball. That's one example of one sentence with a trait and a reason. So here is your end of module task. Which of the Cinderella characters do you most admire? So on the screen, I have... Assessment 29A worksheet, which is your end of module task, where you're going to write your final story for module four. It has some sentence starters that you will use on your story. Let me go over them. It's very easy. All you're going to be doing is completing each sentence with your thoughts. So you're going to start off like this. One Cinderella character I have read about is... You write the name of the Cinderella you chose. Then you're going to write from. You write the name of the story it's from or she's from. Period. Next sentence. I most admire the name of the character you chose because she is. You give me one trait for that character. Period. Next sentence. She is. You repeat the trait by. You give me a reason for that trait, period. Next sentence. I also admire the name of the same character. Again, because she is a second trait for that character, period. She is the trait again by another reason for that other trait. Then, next sentence, that is why I admire, again, the name of the Cinderella you chose, from the name of the story she's from the most, period. So it's very easy. All you're doing is filling in, completing each sentence, okay? You can always go back in the PowerPoint and look at the different traits, all right? Now... No writing prompt tomorrow so you can focus on your end of module. You can do it. You have today, you have tomorrow, and the weekend to complete your end of module task. This will be due Monday, May 11th. It will be under the assignments tab labeled Monday, May 11th, Wood and Wisdom end of module task. I will also go ahead and include the PowerPoint I included on Tuesday's post that names and lists the traits along with some actions, 
okay, that you can use as reasons. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Can't wait to see your end of module tasks. Bye, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of your day.